All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see if I can make some progress without dying right away this time. Uh, I think I'm gonna explore the library. Just need to get, get up to the library. So, um, if I remember correctly in my, um, in my Metal Gear Solid 2 video, um, I mentioned that I was, whoops. <laughs> I think I mentioned that I was going to try to do, like, a review video for, um, the Sonic movie. I gotta stop using the analog stick. Because I always, uh, always accidentally hit up when I'm jumping. Anyways, I did try to record that, and it was, whoops, wrong button. It was a disaster. Um, I... I kept on making little mistakes and like, ah, oh, I'll just start over. And then I just kept on starting over and starting over. And eventually I just got so frustrated that I just erased the whole thing. <laughs> so, so I'm going to give like a brief version of the review in this video and then call it good. Um, so, yeah, to get going on that, uh, the Sonic movie. Hey, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, it was a fun adventure, a funny movie, a very good uh, family film, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I don't, I can't think of any real uh, questionable or inappropriate. Holy crap! Uh, inappropriate content. Um, a fair bit of action, but obviously nothing like too graphic or anything like that. I believe this is the library. Um. The acting's good. Uh, James Marsden, he has done a few movies now where he's... Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> now I remember why I'm not in here. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. But, yeah, he's done a few movies uh, now where he's uh, worked alongside, like, a CG character. And he's getting pretty good at it. Um, and I am so glad they changed the, oh my word, changed the Sonic design. I might abandon this pretty quickly. Ah! <laughs> hey, I leveled up, yay me. Um, oh my, yep, I'm out of here. Um, but yeah, I'm very glad they changed the Sonic design because... Like, there's themes of, um, like, isolation, feeling lonely, and just wanting a, oh my word, wanting a friend. And there's, like, scenes that, like, they want you to feel bad for Sonic, and with that original design, it would have been so bad. It, you would have been just laughing at him. Hey, it's foggy now. Oh my word, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> All right. As I was saying, uh, yeah, there's um, scenes where they want it to be a bit emotional, want you to feel bad for Sonic, and that original design, it would have just been laughable. Um... Overall, any complaints for the movie are actually pretty minor. Um, little things. I don't know if this is really a complaint, but there's a scene towards the beginning. I don't want to spoil anything with it. But, uh, oh my word. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh my word, I can't even move. Oh, this is a nightmare. Alright, that helps a little. 
There we go. All right, so uh, there's a scene towards the beginning of the movie. I don't want to spoil anything of it, but uh, I really like the area they're in. I wish more of the movie took place there. Um, I'd just like to see more of it. Um, there's little things like, oh, my word. Man, these guys are frustrating. There's little things like there's, um, like in the trailer, you see that there's going to be like a slow motion scene. And um, there's one of them where it's pretty obvious they're trying to recreate the fun of the Quicksilver scene from uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. And the scene's fine. Like, it's a fun enough scene, but I feel like it goes on too long. Once again, that's a pretty minor complaint. Um, the only real complaint I have is I feel like Jim Carrey is kind of hit or miss in the movie. Um, jeez. They were, like, I feel like they were definitely banking on nostalgia of people around my age. Um, I mean, like, I should see if I have, yeah, let's not, oh, don't I have the, the, oh, crap. Okay, um. Um, Ooh. who needs intelligence? I, I got armor. Uh, whoops. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, yeah, I need to see if I have any... Oops. Health. What are you guys doing over there? Um, sorry. What I was saying is, um... This movie is definitely, like, banking really hard on nostalgia. Um, people around my age. Um, I mean, nostalgia sells like crazy. Um, I think I heard someone joke that uh, there's so much, um, like, there's so many things taking place, uh, movies and whatnot, taking place in the 80s nowadays. That there's like a whole generation of kids nostalgic for a decade they didn't even live in. I think this is a boss fight. I think I'm on. Yep, I'm gonna regret this. Oh boy! <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh my word! Oh, hey, that worked. What the heck? Doesn't he do anything besides roll? My word, that sucked. I almost feel like I should start over this whole video. If I die again, I might <laughs> just start right from there. Um. So yeah, um, so let's see, I would have been, what, five, six years old when the first Sonic the Hedgehog game came out. Um, Jim Carrey, um, crap, I would have been something like, uh, I want to say nine or ten when, um, when he kind of exploded in the popularity. Oh yeah, I need to... Yeah, like nine or ten years old when uh, Jim Carrey really exploded in the popularity. 
And so basically putting those two together in a movie, they wanted people my age to just be like, oh my word, that's like half my childhood right there. And I feel like, like, yeah, they got Sonic, right? Like, um, it's, it's an original story. It's not, well, as far as I know, it's not the story from any of the games or anything. But it, it feels enough like Sonic. But, uh, for Robotnik, I don't know, like, Jim Carrey, it feels like he's trying to, like, harken back to the, the 90s, uh, uh, carry and sure it it feels like it would line up fine with like uh oh I'm gonna regret fighting him again feels like it would line up fine with something like uh the mask uh Ace Ventura or um Dumb and Dumber but whereas those feel like actual characters um oh, stay close stay close oh this is good. Whereas those feel like actual characters, Robotnik feels more like a highlight reel to me. And I mean, I'm sure kids will love it because uh, it's him acting really goofy a lot. But uh, I wonder if I can just jump him. Crap. Oh my word. Finally. <laughs> I like it. Um. Oh, okay. Hey, cool. We got a tooth. Uh, I should say relic. Okay, cool. Wait, is, do I have to turn those on? They're both on. Cool. So yeah, um... What was I even saying? I feel like in, like... Okay, they want uh, Robotnik to be, like, this mad scientist. I feel like instead of you know, taking time with certain scenes to kind of better establish his character or even build a character. It's like, ah, just act goofy. And then go around telling everyone how you're a genius. And they don't ever really show it, I don't feel. And like I said, it's kind of a nitpick. Uh, I feel like kids will just enjoy him acting goofy and won't care. Um, although... Not all. I do like some of his scenes. Um, in those other movies, The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, and uh, and Ace Ventura, there's always. Um, oh hey, look where I am. There's always normal people reacting to just how weird he is, and you get that a little bit with um, James Marsden's character. And so I think his scenes with uh, Marsden are probably the best. Oh yeah, these guys. Haha. But overall, I mean, that's about the extent for my complaints. Um, I pretty much only have a uh, good thing to say about the movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, plan on watching it again. I don't know if I'm going to watch it again in the theaters or wait for it to come out on video. I might watch it again in the theaters. Oh. Ah! So I was talking to someone about it at uh, work. Um, he'd also seen it. Um, he said he had... Uh, he had similar uh, feelings about uh, Jim Carrey. Holy crap, those guys suck. But, um. 
I told him it's uh, funny. Uh, there's been a lot of video game movies where, like, the complaint was, uh, oh, they didn't uh, stick to the, the story from the source material. And I feel like with this, that would be really hard to do. Um, cause like, what source material do you choose? Um, cause, I mean, obviously, oh, come on. Obviously, you got like the the uh, Sega, like the Genesis video games. Um, and then after like. I don't know if Sega CD or the Sonic CD, if that continues the story of the Genesis games. There's a bunch of spin-offs. Um, Nova Skeleton. And then about the time you get to like uh, Sonic Adventure. Uh, whoops. Adventure now, you... Anyways, about the time you get to Sonic Adventure, like, literally, um, it changes to, like, to a new, like, a reboot and a new story, like, every game or two. So, if you, like, you're like, oh, we're gonna adapt the story from the video game, like, okay, which of the dozen stories are you gonna adapt? But, um, sorry, I'm kind of rambling now. But overall, I'm just glad that we've uh, seemed to be getting a slightly more consistent quality of video game movies now. Um, like, I know some people had complaints about the... I'm trying to think of, like, the last handful to come out. I know people had complaints about, like, uh, uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, mainly, that one had to do with the story. Um, I... I've never played World of Warcraft, so I might butcher this, but... Or the reasoning, anyways. But as far as I know, I guess it was kind of jumping in the middle of a storyline. So, um... Sorry, I'm barely paying attention to what I'm doing on here. But it kind of jumped in the middle of a story, so, um... It seemed to leave a lot of fans upset about that. I feel like overall, though, it gave enough for, like, random casual people like me to be entertained by it. Which I feel like that's something that, uh, video games have to, video game movies have to balance. Um, you know, like, you, you want enough of the game story in there that you please the fans. Oh, crap. How quickly we forget. Um... <laughs> But, uh, you need to have it accessible enough that, uh, the, the general audience will enjoy it. And so I feel like I got enjoyment out of, um, uh, oh my word, I hate these guys. I feel like I got plenty of enjoyment out of, uh, World of Warcraft, like, not really knowing anything about the storyline. I really need a save point so I can heal. Where am I? <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Uh, but also recently you had, like, Tomb Raider, which, um, I know some people had complaints about that because it kind of took, um, a bit of the story from the reboot and a bit of, bit of the story from the sequel and didn't accurately, didn't completely accurately follow either of them, so I know some people are upset about that. But once again, it's a decent quality movie and something that general audiences would enjoy. Uh, Assassin's Creed was really bad, but it was hilarious. So I kind of, I kind of love it for being a hilarious mess. And then, the, of course, the, de the Pepe, Detective Pikachu was a, a 
A fine piece of cinema. Oh. Much better than uh, video game movies I grew up with. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, I leveled up. Um. Yeah. When I was a kid, uh, they talked about the video game movie Curse. Um. Yeah, you started off with Super Mario Brothers. Which, at this point, um. The. Huh, I got a diamond. At this point, the uh, drama behind the scenes is like almost as infamous as the movie itself. Although the movie has gone on to become kind of a cult stat, uh, like a yeah, I can't talk. Gone on to achieve cult status uh, for just being a weird movie. But then the next movie was Double Dragon. I feel like everyone's pretty much forgotten about Double Dragon. You never hear anyone talk about it. What is that? Oof. Hey, I'm poisoned. By the... Phallic Spores. Um... <laughs> but yeah, Double Dragon was... It was also just really bad. Like, it... It basically had nothing to do with the game and then the next one was uh, Street Fighter Street Fighter has also gone on to achieve kind of a cult status mainly due to uh, Raw Julia's um, performance just how amazing that is but with Street Fighter it was just there's a ton of characters they tried having way too much story so they could have um oh, good job skull thing they tried having like a story and a backstory and everything for every single character and it was just it was a mess to keep up with it all and it had nothing to do with the video game um like it basically was a Cool, look at that. It was basically a, um, G.I. Joe knockoff called, um, that would be easier, actually. That was called Street Fighter. But then you had Mortal Kombat, which was the first one to, to actually succeed. Like, it pleased both... I, I don't know how successful it was. I, I didn't look up any of these numbers before doing this video. But, um... Come on. Get him. <laughs> it... I... Like, I think it pleased both uh, fans and general audiences. Because it, like... It stuck close enough to the original... The first game story while expanding upon it. Ow. As well as um, explaining this story enough that uh, general audiences wouldn't be lost. And then it was just, a, a, yeah, sure, it's a bit campy, but it was just a fun uh, martial arts movie. And that's a secret. Like, yeah, you gotta keep the. Uh... Get off me! Anyways, that's the secret. You gotta keep the uh, fans happy, but you gotta have the movie accessible enough that uh, general audiences won't just be lost and hate it. Yay, I got a Opal. Um, but after, after that, like, the curse was back on. Get off me! Oh yeah, uh, there was another thing that uh, Mortal Kombat did. It kind of learned from the mistake of Street Fighter. It also had a big cast of characters. 
but it kept the focus down to just like ow, a couple of them, like a handful. And then, um, are you gonna go kill him? Anyways, it kept the focus down to a handful, and then everyone else was basically just could be described in like a sentence. Um, <laughs> you know, you're dealing in realm, so Goro is the prince of another realm who supports Shang Tsung. Kano is a, a underground crime boss who killed Sonya's partner. Oops, okay. Well, I'm going this way now. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> hey, I got money. Um, there's gotta be a save somewhere around here. Wait, didn't I already go here? No, that's okay. This is new. Oops, I don't. I don't want the cross. It takes way too much uh, energy. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. But yeah, after you get through uh, Mortal Kombat, then then the curse is back on. Um, <laughs> you got Uwe Boll, who his movies are poor quality, horrible acting, uh, stories that sometimes have absolutely nothing to do with the uh, games. And thanks to a loophole in, uh, in German tax laws for movies, which was closed eventually, uh, he kept on making movies. Uh, the, the loophole was basically that if uh, an advertiser and for a movie, if the movie uh, did not make a profit, so the advertiser lost money, then the government would basically uh, refund them um, the lost amount. So these companies would just um, advertise in a bunch of crap movies because uh, you know either the movie makes a profit and they make a profit, or um, or the government refunds them and. They lost nothing. So because of that uh, law, Uwe Boll made a lot more movies than he should have been able to. <laughs> and be on that, you had uh, more things like Double Dragon that just no one remembers, like Wing Commander. Um, which I haven't seen Wing Commander. Maybe someday I'll watch it. I still someday want to do my uh, uh, movie review thing. I got to get on that. Um, you know, people were excited for Mortal Kombat 2 because Mortal Kombat was actually good. And then Mortal Kombat 2, it's like, hey, people hated the CG from the first movie. So let's do a ton more of that. And what's that? Even more characters. Some of them only showing up for like a minute and then never showing up again. And get rid of all, all the cast. Yeah, I saw one person about that. I need to stop playing this. Um, for the second movie, like um, one of the people, um, oh hey, I, <laughs> I got peanuts, yay me. Um, Lyndon Nashby. I'm gonna actually go back and just save now. That I got the peanuts. But I'll finish on this thought. I guess Lyndon Nashby, the guy who played uh, Johnny Cage in the first movie, um, he, uh, you know, he would have been a returning actor, which means he would get a pay raise for the sequel. And they were trying to cut costs and like, oh, we don't want to, we don't want to uh, spend extra money to bring him back. So they wrote the script, basically having him die in the first few minutes, handed him the script. And he said, oh, wow, that's uh, that's great. You know what? I think I'm going to skip this movie. And that's why we got uh, some random guy who was in the movie for like two minutes and then dies. <laughs> On that pleasant note, thank you very much for joining me, my dear friends. I've messed up that line. <laughs>
I've messed that up. Jeez, I can't talk at all. I've messed up that line in both videos this week. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, my dear friends. Until next time. There, I can say it. Ha! <laughs>